what's up welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do a candles empty if today is your first time stepping on over here to my channel then welcome my name is Jen please subscribe and come back and hang out again with yours truly today I'm going to do a candles empty I did quite a few of these maybe like two or three not quite a few but I've done a couple of these um, in the past so I will link those down below if you want to check them out and yeah in the comments below let me know what your favorite candle is and where you get it from and all that kind of stuff like what your favorite scents are um, and all that good stuff so if you want to see what kind of candles I've used then you're in the right place and okay, just so time. the first one I'm going to talk about is this one here from Bath and Body Works this is the salted caramel candle it looks like this and as you can see there's still quite a bit of candle left in here um, but I'm thinking about bringing this back to the store and switching it out if you don't know Bath and Body Works does have a pretty decent customer service um, like situation where you can return things if you're not pleased I love the scent of this but when I burn it it smells burnt if that makes any sense at all at all I know that sounds kind of weird but I'm thinking about returning this and switching it out because I just don't like the scent that it puts off it it does come across as a very burnt smell and I don't like it so as you can see there's still quite a bit of candle left in here but this is the first candle and the candles video. are actually um, scent bars from Scentsy. This is the Just Breathe um, scent, and this is a very, very soft, kind of eucalyptus smell. It's actually really good if you have like sinus problems or something like that. It's really, really good for opening up your sinuses. So, Scentsy bars come with eight little squares that you can pop into your warmer. I love wickless candles, so it looks like that, and as you can see, you know that's the back of it and then the other one is in frosted ginger cookie so I love Scentsy wax I used to be an independent consultant as you can see here um, it has my information there so um, yeah so that's that and I will always 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 use these I still have quite a bit in my inventory because I used to do craft shows all the time. Next up, these are two um, candles by the brand Glade. So they look like that. And these are, I don't know what the scent is, but it was a double pack. So it came in these little jars like this. It's a very clean, like a, almost like a laundry detergent type of smell, which I really, really like. So fun to that. if you want to repurpose your candle jars, um, actually, I have them right here on my, my vanity. Um, this was a Bath & Body Works candle that I just hot glued some ribbon on and put some of the little bead, beads inside of here and I store makeup brushes. Um, actually, this one has my sponges, but um, I'll show you really quick because I have another one right here. This was another candle that I repurposed and just put some of the little beads in and I keep my eye brushes in this one. I have one for face brushes. I have one that are like my dirty brushes. So you can always repurpose your candle jars. So little ones like this is great for, you know when you buy um, like a drugstore makeup palette and they come with the little sponge tip applicators. Those are actually really good to use for inner corner highlights, um, very detailed um, precision work that you wanna do around your eyes. So make sure you save those sponge tip applicators because they do come in handy especially when you're working on clients. Um, I do freelance makeup, so I like to save those, but that's Here's a candle from Light My Soy. So as you can see here, um, this was a brand that reached out to me a couple of years ago to do a review. I will link that video down below, uh, but these are all natural scented soy candles. Um, this was in the scent Autumn Walk, as you can see there. So. Yeah, this just smells like, it almost reminds me of like what a Christmas tree would smell like, but I really, really, really enjoyed all the candles that he sent to me. He sent me a wide variety of candles in various sizes, different jars, tarts, things like that. Um, 
scent bar is kind of like the Scentsy. So I really, really do appreciate um, him sending me that. And I really enjoyed burning all the candles and doing my review. So like I said, that video will be linked down below if you want to check it out. So yeah, like my soy. Okay, here's a small candle from Yankee Candle, as you can see there. This is in the scent um, Vanilla Cupcake. So it looks like that. And this is just one of the little itty bitty ones. It smells really, really good. It smells like vanilla cake, so that's that. I'm actually filming in the dark. All I have on is my ring light. So if the lighting is weird, comment below and I won't do it again, I promise. Me. Next three candles are all from Bath and Body Works. This one is in the scent Flannel, and it's just a blue wax. And I like the lids on a lot of these. Oh, this smells very masculine to me, so okay, yeah. Next up that. is Winter Mint and Spruce. So it looks like that, and this is a mint green candle. Um, again, this smells like a minty pine tree kind of scent. I don't know. It's really, really nice. I like it. I like the scent of like the Christmas tree um, smells. So All right, next up is also from Bath and Body Works and this is an Endless Weekend. It doesn't have like an actual label, um, but it's a green candle with green wax. Mm, it smells really good. It smells very tropical and I like this jar. I'll probably repurpose this jar. Um, the lids that come on these are really nice if they're completely flat. You can use them as a mixing palette to mix like foundations and lipsticks and things. So um, you don't forget you guys, you can always repurpose the things that you're trashing. So just be creative and think of different ways that you can use them. So going to be repurposing this jar. Okay, these two candles are both from Village Candle. This one is in the scent fun in the sun so it looks like that and i think i got these at ross or marshall's something like that but this one here this fun in the sun is a really nice um like a beachy scent i really really like it and then this one is in soft linen so mm, yeah this smells like a uh, fabric softener is exactly what this smells like so Village candles are awesome and they're really, really inexpensive. So definitely check out, you know, Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshall. Next up is by the brand Yankee Candle. And this is in the scent Red Raspberry. Mmm, this is a really, really sweet summertime scent. It smells delicious. So again, these little jars like this, I always get them from like um, Ross or TJ Maxx. So definitely check out the candle section next time you go to the store. Two more candles from Bath and Body Works. This one is Pumpkin Cupcake. Looks like this. Mmm, smells so good. Um, I love anything that's like cupcake and pumpkin, so that's that. And then this one is Watermelon Lemonade. And just imagine watermelon and lemonade. Mmm, it smells so good. The perfect summer scent. I absolutely loved this um, fragrance. Next five candles are all from Bath and Body Works. This is in the scent Leaves. I know this is a staple scent here on YouTube. I'm not really crazy about it because to me it smells like apples. Yeah, it kind of smells like apples and cinnamon. And although I like it, it, apples and cinnamon is not my favorite candle scent. But I do like it nonetheless. But um, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this particular one. Uh, unless it's on it sale. Hello Beautiful. So it looks like this and it's a real pretty light blue green shade. Looks like that. And this to me is a very, very like feminine flirty scent. It almost smells like a perfume or something, but um, really, really enjoyed this one as well. And like I said, these flat lids you can use to mix your makeup or something. I don't know, but repurpose your stuff, y'all. Repurpose your stuff. Okay, the next candle is Sweater Weather, and again, this to me smells like a perfume scent. It's very, very pretty. I don't know, there's still quite some candle left in here, but the wick is gone. Like, you cannot burn the wick anymore. So, I will probably melt this down, and like I said, I repurpose all of my stuff. So, I will probably melt it down and pop it into one of these little empty containers. That way, I can break it off and use it in my Scentsy warmer because that's a lot of candle to be just tossing out. So I'll definitely be getting the rest of the wax. The candle is Baja Cactus Blossom. 
looks like these. And this is just a blue wax. Mm. This to me has like a beachy floral scent. It's really, really pretty. And I love the um, color on it. So pretty. So that's that again from uh, Bath and Body Works. All right, next candle is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl from Bath and Body Works. And again, look at all the candle that's still left in here. But the wick is like, I don't know, it won't burn. So again, I'll be melting this down and taking out the wax so that I can use it in my Scentsy Warmer. So yeah, like I said, I love anything that's like pumpkin and vanilla. I love the jar candles. Both of these are from Mainstays. And if you don't know what Mainstays are, it's the brand um, from Walmart. And for whatever reason, I don't know why these are in here. I think it's because... I mean, there's still quite a bit of candle. I don't know why these are in here. I'm gonna try to burn these again and see what, what is up. Why does that look green on the camera? Do you guys see that? That's weird. I don't know what's up with that. So I don't know, maybe these candles just smelled funny after they burned. I don't remember why these are in the empties box, but for whatever reason, um, they're in the empties box. So I don't know, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it because this is not supposed to be green. So there's a reason why these are in here, but again, you can repurpose these jars. I love the black cherry scent for mainstays. I love black cherry anyway, so the next that's candle is that. by the brand Goose Creek. Can you see that? Goose Creek, and it's in the scent Kitchen Lemon. And I love anything that's lemon scented. Again, I think I got this at like a Ross or a TJ Maxx or something like that. So um, you can empty this out, clean it out, and put you some cotton balls or some cotton swabs or, you know, something to repurpose these um, really nice lid um, jars with the lid. So Yankee candles, actually the last bit of my candles are all from Yankee Candle and they're the ones in the large lid jars. So this one is in Balsam and Cedar. So it looks like that. And again, this has quite a bit of wax in here. And I think what happened was the wick, yeah, the wick looked like for some reason it decided to stop. So I'm going to try to get the rest of the wax out of this jar because I do like the scent of pine, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna get the rest of the scent out of, or the rest of the wax out of here and then toss this jar. And then the next one is French Vanilla. So it looks like that, and this one is completely gone. Again, anything vanilla scented, I absolutely love. The next one is Christmas at the Beach, and I believe Solomon gave these two to me. I know he gave me this one, um, and I'm almost positive he gave me um, this French vanilla. But this Christmas at the Beach, I love. It smells so good. It's like a... Beachy, I can't even describe it, you guys. It smells so, so good. It smells like something that you would want to drink. So Christmas at the Beach is so yummy. I, I think they only sell that in the, like, winter time. And then the last candle in this candle empty haul, or whatever you want to call it, is Black Cherry from Yankee Candle. And this has a tiny bit of wax in it. It looks more than it is because it's kind of, like, spilled up on the sides. But there's not much left, and the wick is completely gone. Oh my god, this smells so good. Like I said, I love the scent of black cherry. So, All right, guys, yeah, that's going to wrap it. up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs it up so that I know um, to continue to do these videos. Um, something is itching me. I feel like a mosquito bit me. Um, anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, if you're new, if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you stick around and come back for a visit tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So um, I'm going to link up here in the cards and also down below. I'm having another giveaway, so make sure you check that video out. And yeah, so again, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, Prumpening Easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Mwah. Bye.